I'm Ernest Lamoth, reporter for the Southland Journal. I'm Anna Valencia, candidate for Illinois Secretary of State. Click Valencia, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Can you talk a little bit about your career background? Sure. So I'm presently the city clerk of Chicago. I've been in elected office for the last five years. I Before that, I actually grew up in downstate Illinois, Granite City. My dad is a union painter. My mom uh, worked in a nonprofit, and I was first in my family to go to college at U of I. I spent the last 15 years in public service and um, have loved every minute of it. Wonderful. And can you talk a little bit about some of the reasons why you decided you run to run for this office? Yeah, so the reason I first became the city clerk of Chicago five years ago, 2016, happened, and we all know what that turned out like. And uh, there were a lot of women raising their hand to run for public office, and I wanted to be one of those women. I didn't feel like I could step behind the scenes any longer and work on the sidelines. I had to be out in the fight. And so I was sworn in five days after Donald Trump, and we have worked on so many different initiatives, whether it's city key. Um, helping people get government access to a government ID and making sure they get back on their feet. Uh, whether it's fines and fees reform, I met a CTA bus driver on the west side of Chicago, a father of five, who had $5,000 in city sticker ticket debt. And in my office as a city clerk of Chicago, if you do not register your vehicle with us, you get a $200 fine per day. And so when the city told him he had to put $2,500 half down to get on a payment plan and he couldn't, they suspended his driver's license and he lost his job, which is completely opposite of what we're supposed to be doing as public servants. So I worked with Governor Pritzker and Secretary White, both who've endorsed me now, by the way, and we helped pass a law that no longer suspends driver's license for non-moving violations, which gave 55,000 residents just in Chicago alone, their driver's license back and their ability to get back to work. And so it's really those type of innovative ideas that are really helping people that I want to bring to Secretary of State's office. And I also feel that I have that executive experience over the last five years to do that. And so excited to have Secretary White's endorsement as well. I think he's done a tremendous job leading with integrity and character and really caring about people, making himself accessible. And so I just really want to build upon his foundation that he's already set and take it to new heights. And have you thought a little bit about if elected some of those platforms that you're very passionate about that you would want to raise to new heights? Yes, I am very excited. There's a lot that's the Secretary of State's office that people don't even know about. So besides the lines at the DMV, which I really believe the pandemic has shown the need for technology infrastructure upgrades uh, in my own office as well, during leading during the pandemic, which has not been easy, we've needed to put more services online. So we wanted, I want to continue to work on that in the Secretary of State's office. We want to create a mobile app where you could upload documents, even take your vision test online, pay online. So you may not even have to step into a facility if you don't need to. Clearing up the lines for our seniors, people with disabilities who really need to go in the office. We also want to look at how do we create like a pop-up shop. So as city clerk, we had these mobile city halls where we would show up at park district facilities. Um, we would show up on Saturday hours and even evening hours with all of our services that we have. So how could we do that as secretary of state, not just driver's license or state IDs, but maybe you want to register a business. Maybe you want to check out what our library has to offer or bring other stakeholders, other local units of government to be with us. So people don't have to take a day off work or find childcare. As a mom of a toddler, I have a two-year-old and there are not, uh, not enough snacks in the world for us to stand in line at the DMV for four to five hours, which I know a lot of parents out there watching feel the same. Uh, the other thing we wanna work on is voting access. So the Secretary of State's office has a lot to do with vote by mail, um, automatic voter registration. I want to create a civics core, which would be a paid youth jobs program for our young people, regardless of zip code, to be able to learn how to register voters in their communities, how to be civically engaged, how to amplify their voices, get their foot in the door to see that public service could be a career for them as well. Um, and then lastly, our library system, I would be the chief librarian as Secretary of State. And we really want to double down on the grants that go out to our libraries, but specifically, we really want to innovate our libraries. So what does that look like? We want to make sure every library in Illinois has broadband access. I heard from Democrats across, well, really residents across the state 
that when their library was shut down, there were people in central Illinois who would go into their parking lot and use the broadband access to get their kids e-learning materials. Here in Chicago, our libraries remained open and a lot of our families went into the libraries to get access to the Wi-Fi or even desktops or laptops to do their e-learning. So we really want to make sure that our libraries are set, um, set up for success in the 21st century. Makers Lab, Innovation Labs, uh, U Media Centers, all the, all the bells and whistles that every community I think deserves. And you talked a little about the importance of getting youth actively involved civically. Can you talk a little about, elaborate on that a little bit of why you think that's very essential? It's so important. So take my own story, and I'm sure every people listening have their own similar experiences. When I grew up in Granite City down in Southern Illinois, I didn't have a lot of people that looked like me in, in government service. I didn't know that was an opportunity. They didn't have like a booth at your career day, like you can go into public service. And I had a job shadow experience sophomore year of high school, and I went to Springfield to job shadow our state senator, Evelyn Bowles. And I remember stepping on that Capitol and looking up at the dome and just realizing like, I don't know how I was going to be here, but I wanted to be part of this. I wanted to make a difference. And I really think that's important for our young people and not our, a lot of young people, especially people of color, don't have access to those same internships. They've always been for insiders. And I really wanna make sure that this is open, transparent and accessible to ma no matter what zip code you live in, that you could have this experience. You can put on your college resume. You know, you need that experience to be able to get uh, careers in government or public service. And so that is why I think it's very crucial. We allow our young people this access and also, if you can't see it, you can't be it. And that's really important too. Is there anything else you'd like to add that maybe I didn't ask? So I'm really excited about not only being supported by Secretary White, because he is a history maker. He was the first African-American to be elected to Secretary of State. And I will be the first woman and woman of color to be elected to Secretary of State. It means not only that I'm breaking a barrier for just my campaign, but it's really what, is, what does it do to open doors to other women coming behind me and specifically women of color. So I'm very excited about this race because this is not about Anna Valencia. This is not about my name on the door. It's about all of us and what we can achieve together. And it's about all those young people across the state that maybe feel left out of the process to see, hey, you know what? Doesn't matter what zip code I come from, that does not define the outcome of my life. And so if you would like to check out our website at voteannavalencia.com, sign up to volunteer, get engaged. We have four months left to election day on June 28th, and I would love to have your support. Well, thank you very much once again for joining us today. Thank you for having me.